Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the topic uh, Xyleria, which is a fungi which belongs to subdivision Ascomycotina. First, let us discuss about the salient features of Ascomycotina. The fungi has a somatic phase which is very well developed and extensively branched mycelium. The hyphae are multicellular and septate. The septa are symbol with pores. Cells are uninucleate or multinucleated condition and uh, usually fusion between neighboring hyphae is commonly seen. Motile cells are altogether absent. During the sexual reproduction, uh, it takes place by non-motile spores which are exogenously produced uh, by the formation of conidia. And during the sexual reproduction, sexual spores or ascospores are produced endogenously. Ascospores are also called meospores and they are formed by meiosis in sac-like sporangia called asci. Each ascus consists a definite number of ascospores. Usually the number is 8 or multiple of 8. The definite fruiting body is called ascocarp. During uh, ga gametic fusion, we can see that plasmogamy is not immediately followed by karyogamy and there is an intermediate phase called the dikaryophase. Example of fungi belonging to Ascomycotina are Morcella, Aspergillus, Penicillium, Yeast, Xyleria, etc. Xyleria is a cosmopolitan genus. It is a saprophyte or weak parasite. Uh, and they are found on woody plants. In India, about 10 species are seen, out of which Xyleria hypoxylon, uh, commonly called as Candlesnuff fungus, Xyleria polymorpha, commonly called dead man's fingers, and Xyleria mali, which causes black rot of apple trees, are usually found in India. So, Xyleria is a cosmopolitan genus. It is either a saprophyte or a weak parasite. They are found on woody plants. So uh, when we take, uh, we can see saprophytic xyleria on dry wood, uh, wood or uh, dead and decaying wood. We can see uh, this uh, fungi. Okay, and what are the names of uh, commonly seen species of xyleria? Xyleria hypoxylon called as Candlesnuff fungus, Xyleria polymorpha known as dead man's fingers and Xyleria mali which is known as uh, which, which causes black rot of apple trees. Okay, when we take a ascomycotina we can see that uh, the vegetative structure is uh, different okay for yeast we can see that it is unicellular but uh, in others we can see that it is multicellular in xyleria it is multicellular so coming to the vegetative structure mycelium is a profusely branched mycelia we can see and this mycelia are septate we have already talked about the um, septa we, it is simple septa uh, and uh, the the body, the fruiting body or the plant body, it is called as stromata. When we when we go to the uh, uh, garden outside, we can see that the stromata is erect. Okay, and uh, it is stalked. It may be branched or unbranched. It may be branched or unbranched, and or also it might be forked or cylindrical or fusiform fusiform meaning it is tapering at both ends it may be fleshy white pale black or buff to black in color and in some species we can see that it might be hollow now reproduction when we see takes place by two types asexual and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction take place by the formation of conidia when we take a conidia, it is a white powdery mass on the surface of stroma. stroma. So we can see like a, a white powdery mass on the surface of the stroma. So we uh, lay, uh, earlier we have seen that black colored fungus. No, on that black color we can see white powder like stru structure. So that is called a conidia. 
and uh, the conidia are small oval structures and large number of conidiophores can be seen when we see the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction takes place by the formation of uh, ascospores okay and these ascospores are born inside perithecia which is a flask shaped structure which has a cavity inside the sex organs are present inside this cavity so each um, the uh, uh, spores the sexual spores they are born in sac like structure which is called as ascii and this ascii is cylindrical and each ascus consists of eight ascospores and this ascii are uh, mixed with the sterile paraphyses so some sterile hyphae are seen inside uh, along with this ascii and they are called paraphyses ascospores are uniseriate they are arranged in one single line so it is called uniseriate and they are fusi formed structures uh, and they are non septate and has an equatorial germ pore now what you are seeing here it is xyleria when we take the cross section we can see that uh, the uh, the inside is uh, pale in color and in the periphery we can see this perithecia so the perithecia uh, this is the uh, structure which uh, which um, bears the ascii it is flash shaped we can see and it has a opening towards the uh, exterior towards the periphery it is called the ostiole and the perithecial wall it is made up of pseudo parenchymatous tissue and uh, the central region we can see where the ascii is present that is called with the hollow space is called the centrum okay the centrum it is the hollow space inside the perithecia it is called the centrum and in the centrum we can see the ascus we can see finger like structures in the central region that is the ascii and each ascii we can see there are spores are present and these spores are called ascospores they are definite in number either 8 or multiple of 8 so this is the uh, uh, fungi what we are talking about this is the xyleria this is called the stroma of xyleria when you go to your outside garden outside your house when you go into your garden when if there are any dry or dead or decaying wood we can see this type of fungus on the wood growing on the wood so uh, if you see uh, structures like this uh, please make sure that you collect this fungus so that you can use for your uh, practical okay so we will be taking the section of this fungus so uh, make sure to collect this um, plant uh, uh, this fungus if you see in your garden now i uh, let me um, i want you all to answer few questions Mm, so one thing is uh, can you describe you have to describe the structure of mm, uh, perithecia okay mm? and then explain the structure uh, the uh, sexual reproduction in xyleria then uh, what is dikaryophase what is dikaryophase the next question is what is ascii what is ascii okay uh then uh, what is the vegetative structure of xyleria okay if you have uh, so thank you very much for listening